Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Barry. This is Sith Lord is a metalhead. On today, Saturday, April 6, 2024. Okay, so I went to go see, I just got out of the theater. My wife dropped her off so she could do some, go buy something because we just saw the omen. Um, you know, uh, the prequel, the beginning, right? Now, I'm going to say this with full spoilers because um, I'm going to tell you like this. I was watching the movie. I mean, the movie wasn't lackluster. You know, you had a few little things here and there. They gave you a little bit of uh, nostalgia. You know, um, you know, I was okay with the way the story was going. Like, I tolerated it. You know, I was, I was, I, you know, it was, it was going, had a few little things. There was a little, uh, twist, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, I, I was, you know, it wasn't like the best, the best movie, but it was, you know, okay that I had, you know, I went to the theater and we, you know, we sat down. So, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm into it. You know, I'm like, all right. Now, again, spoilers, all spoilers. Uh, you know, because when you watch it, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. I don't even have to mention names, who, you know, the characters, so on. Um, the young lady, <clears throat> who was the nun, and she ended up, um, you know, giving birth, you know, I show, uh, giving birth to twins, right? Twins. Of course, you know, that was bugged out part there, where you see my man Satan pop out, half, just, just a half of Satan, you know. Did a pretty good job. It would have been nice to give us like a little, little glorious look of him, but I guess that's too much money. So he goes, pregnates the girl. June 6th, 6 a.m. She goes to his birth. She gives birth to twins. To a, to a girl and a boy. Right? So basically the followers or, you know, the people who are involved with that whole shit, uh, which is, you know, the undercover little crew that was part of the church that wanted the Antichrist to come. They basically left the mom there to die with the baby girl. And she was saved by a young lady that she was going back and forth with in the movie that was, uh, I guess, somebody who was going to, I guess, eventually be used as a vessel. But so she saves them. They all go try to live their lives or whatever. So this priest that was actually trying to help the young lady out came to her to give her a warning. That they're still going to be looking for her or whatever. Now, what pissed me off was, like, I didn't understand why they did a freaking Star Wars thing on me. And they decanonized a fucking story like The Omen that was already uh, three great movies. They did a freaking um, a remake which, which I, I, I applaud the remake. I thought the remake was, was really good. Um, same same recipe. Then, you know, the Antichrist was born of a jackal. They take the baby, switch babies, kill the baby of the senator, of Senator Thorn, so on and so forth. In this movie, they show them, given the, the, the picture of, um, of the, of, um, Thorn, Senator Thorn, you know, from the original, from 76. Um, and I'm looking at the movie and I'm saying to myself, but wait a minute. They take this, this is during that time, and they're taking the baby over there and they're gonna do the whole thing. But what whatever happened to him being born of a jackal? Like they just they decanonized that shit. <laughs> Yo, how the fuck did the uh, these people let they they do a prequel to the Omen, and they don't stick to the script as far as you know getting the, you know, with the whole thing with the jackal. That was the whole premise of everything. I, 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 like I said, I was tolerating the movie as you know to a degree until they got to that, and they said they were going to the hospital, and they were, they took they switched the babies and all that. That thing blew my mind. That these motherfuckers did a Lucasfilm and they just went and scrapped cannon. <laughs> Look, man, 
like I said, if, you know, like I said, I'm gonna put it on the on the description, the spoilers. If you still want to see it, most I mean, look, I, I wouldn't pay full price. I mean, I, I pay full price. I kind of regret paying full price. Wish I could have did a matinee or just waited for streaming. Uh but like I said, the movie was tolerable until they so they did that. They they fucked that up, man. I was so mad. I was so mad. And after me and my wife, we engulfed in watching all those old, you know, we did our little marathon watching the omens. We, you know, those were great movies. And they just now Damien Thorne has a twin sister out there. Right? So that means there's a there's enough that there's a living sibling to the Antichrist. So now what the fuck they gonna do? So they're gonna probably must decanonize everything. I guess they're gonna probably just go maybe make a new story with that, which I think that is so stupid. <sighs> anyway, look that that's that's my rant. All I can tell you is that uh, the movie was very disappointing. Uh, if you're gonna see it, fine. If not, wait for it to come out streaming. But just be ready for these motherfuckers to decanonize the omen. <laughs> That's all I got right now, guys. This is Barry. This is Sif Lord's Melhead. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Share the channel. And, and you know, uh, don't forget also, uh, we have uh, goods now on uh, on eBay at Resto 1974. Uh, you can go over there and you can you know, check for the shirts now. I'm going to start putting all the shirts onto there. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> they decanonized the omen. All right. Take care, guys. This is Barry. May the force be with you.